What's up my single chats and toxic gamers? How are we all doing man? Today we're talking about Call of Duty Killer. Not this gameplay that you're currently watching in the background. This is Battlefield 3 Close Quarters. Like the video if you ever played this second when it first came out. And I remember some seconds were like, bro, it's gonna be trash because uh, Battlefield, y'all try to be like Call of Duty. But I remember when this came out, this blew everybody expectations. And I, I don't know if it's me or not. But I certainly do feel like that the FPS games right now are dry as hell. Call of Duty, I'm not even sure what's happening with that, bruh. Like, what's happening with Call of Duty? We in December, it's almost 2024, and Call of Duty is dead this early. Usually, we talk about Call of Duty being dry as hell around, like, February or March. Uh, but this time, <laughs> nobody cares for Call of Duty. And it d definitely feels like that there's nothing really coming out. Well, guess what? There is something that's coming out, ladies and gentlemen. Like this video, share this video, and let's uh, check this out. This one is called Grey Zone Warfare. Roll it. As far as I know, they're still looking for a quarter one early access release. I have a strong feeling that this is going to be delayed, but it'd be a welcome <laughs> surprise. I don't know why that was funny, but okay. If it did launch in early 2024. So Grey Zone Warfare is going pretty deep with their story. They've combined okay. forces with Sean McFate, who is a military expert, strategic analyst, and author who has been a large inspiration for the story and the world lore behind the Grey Zone. So okay. the game is set on the island of Lemang, which is a former British colony the island of Lamal was ravaged by a brutal 20 year island civil Lamel. war. After a few more decades and a cataclysmic event, PMC groups have Look been good. sent to the island to uncover its mysteries and whatever valuable resources they can find. As a member of one of these three companies, you will have to make a choice either stick to the given orders and earn your pay, or dig deeper to unravel the truth behind the scenes. Whatever okay. path you choose, they say the journey is not going to be easy. So in the oh, game, damn. you choose to be a part of one of three factions. And as of right now, they have varying backstories and starting positions on the map. And so far for early access, those are the only differences between them. The Go gear on. that you can earn, characters Yo! that you can interact with. And Yo, hey, whoa! Yo, this ma gives me massive Battlefield vibes in a good way. First of all, graphics W. Uh, gunplay, uh, we haven't seen gunplay, so. Yeah. But guns looking awesome. They they are massively, I guess, inspired off of MW19 Modern Warfare 2. And those games were inspired off of real life. Therefore, this game is also inspired by real life. Shocking how that works. But here's the thing, right? I also do feel like that. I want to bring in another argument here real quick. I also uh, do feel like that we cannot, like... I know we had the day before, we had the scam before. I personally did not fell for that scam, okay? I did not fell for that scam. I did not pre-order that game. I did not buy the game. I know a lot of people fell for that scam. Let me know if you fell or you didn't uh, fell for it. It's fine. It's gonna be okay if you fell for it, guys. It's okay. I'm not gonna judge you, okay? Hashtag no judge. Hashtag no homo, okay? Let me send you some kishish. <laughs> At the end of the day, I do feel like that you should not pre-order any game, 110%. But also, we should not judge another company, another dev team. We should not put them on like the same level as the day before, or or think that it's gonna turn out to be the day for be, the day before. Because I feel like that that would be unfair. Agree? Disagree? West like if you agree. All the same as of right now, and most likely will be going into early access okay. with minor adjustments here and there. Man, early access, y'all suck as kid. Man. This this is what I don't like, bro. They always use early access as a crutch, dog. In the future, though, they plan to make PMCs more distinct from each other with specific characters and quest lines for each one. For the quests, they're working with a military advisor to create quests that prioritize realism. Yo, this looking good. If they titled this Battlefield 6, I would have I would have believed it. You know what I mean? Like graphically looking good, gunplay, the holographic side, W man. That's looking <laughs> and good. Logic. No mundane item hunts or set events. Outcomes vary based on your choices and reactions to- All right, so it's not a Call of Duty killer. <laughs> Uh, tough love, man. It's not a Call of Duty killer, and I don't think they're going for the Call of Duty killer. It's more like a Milsim, I guess, extraction, FPS, realis realistic, and nothing wrong with that. But I, I do hope that this comes on PlayStation as well, and Xbox, too. Unexpected challenges. Branching decisions affect your reputation with the characters and unlock new possibilities, weapons, and gear. More than 150 quests await you in early access with obviously ongoing additions to the game. And although Grey Zone Warfare isn't a strictly narrative-driven experience, there is a story that you can engage with if you wish to do so. Even if you don't want to complete the quests, you can still progress through the game 
albeit less effectively, and they aim to avoid pressuring players. I, I saw one poppin', and I don't want to sound like a 12-year-old and be like, I saw a poppin', I saw a poppin'. I don't want to be, like, pointing that out. I want to. I don't want to point out the flaws, but it just jumped up because I know, like, the PlayStation fanboys and the Xbox fanboys, whenever they would see uh, poppins in, for example, like Halo, Starfield, uh, Spider-Man. I'm not sure about Spider-Man, but whenever, you know, Sigas would see <laughs> those poppins, they would go crazy. They would be like, I saw a poppin'. I saw him pop it. I saw him pop it. That's just such a gamer's mentality. That's like gamers 101. I love it though. I love it, but but come on, guys. Come on. I mean, damn, bro. There's into any particular. You don't have PlayStation 20. So if you just want to jump in and shoot, you can. But okay. if you want to go through the story, do the quest, and do all of that, it'll be a much faster way to progress. And they say, apart from mission briefings and debriefings, they're focusing on environmental storytelling and optional intel items. So things like notes, books, newspapers that you can find among the world and uncover. I, I do hope they also got like TDM and, you know, smaller. Uh, they have one large map, right? I feel like, and they're gonna, and that's cool and all. But I do hope that they also cut sections like tick 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 tick, and, and they Bruh. they make game modes like the uh, team that's match domination and stuff like that because I I do believe that 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 can actually boost its player and players uh, boost the players the player numbers and also replay value of the game because when you have more than just one game mode it just works way better i want to also talk about this situation real quick right because i know a lot of suckers are like hey man what's happening with x defined where is x defined the finals just came out battlefield is you know kind of in the mid category right now i know suckers are playing battlefield 2042 they're saying it's good and suckers that don't want to play they're just not playing it Bruh. simply that's where we at x defined we're not even sure where that is right and there is like a huge drought in terms of fps games the finals just came out but it's still once again it's not everybody's cup of tea Bruh. man it's not everybody's cup of tea but the finals is a solid fps game right now but outside of that there's nothing really happening yeah we had call of duty 2024 leaks i made the video on the gameplay and call of duty 2024 is genuinely looking very good i will pin that video in the comments definitely check that out afterwards but again that's call of duty the next battlefield game is also teased right they tease the uh, the upcoming engine and now we have this game that is most probably going to be coming out let's just say early or mid 2024 and again we're knowing fully well we had games like the day before uh, also known as the scam before you know what i'm saying do you really trust this do you really trust this one if you do two if you don't and we had call of duty 2024 leaks and honestly though it's looking good click on that video on the screen on the left though we got the secret video ladies and gentlemen check out both of these videos and i will see you right there